What's up, Love Pack? I'm that Krogan HD, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft House Builds. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys probably my favorite design I've made so far in this entire series. But the problem with this design is it's very unrealistic to build in a survival setting. It's not that the materials are unrealistically hard to get, it's just the fact that it took so long to build this. So I'm going to show you it right now. I call it the manor because I didn't really have a name for it, and I figured it looks like a manor, so. I'm just going to call it the manor. When you walk in here, there's a little stone wall to protect you from creepers and skeletons and zombies. And the light, or the glowstone, gives off nice light, and they're on fences to make it look like they're light posts. So when we walk in to the, in the grounds, you see that I put the um, flower pot holder things like I did in the first house. I thought it would look nice, kind of give it a little bit more color and a better sense of character, I guess, than just leaving it blank. Um, and then I put the grass leaves as like hedges around the front side of the house. And the flower pots, of course, just make it more color. This is the, what I want to say, I don't forgot what it's called. I think it's the, uh, like, the line trap thing. I'm not looking up right now because I'm, it's the uh, tripwire hook. And I thought it looked like a doorbell, so that's why I put that there go inside when we walk inside I put a little like pond with sugar cane because I thought it would look cool to have something in the middle and just keep it a flat wood surface with nothing so it gives a little bit more like closed spaces and make it feel more open than it should need to be and to your uh, right there's a kitchen and this time I actually made a working fridge we push the button and we get a cookie so that's pretty cool. I'm glad I did that finally. Make a working fridge. If you want to know how to make that, it's very simple. You just put a dispenser at the bottom, an iron block on top, and of course you gotta put the iron door in front of it. And you had to shift, or not, you have to shift and put the a stone button on the dispenser, which will then put this button on the dispenser and it'll open up the door and dispense the food. Right here, some storage. I decided to use sandstone for the uh, floor and countertop because I want to do something with sandstone. But I didn't know what to do, so I figured I'd do it for like a marble type countertop and a floor. I thought it looked pretty well. Um, right here we have an oven, and in the corner there is a crafting table. And again, a sink, because I like putting these, for some reason they make it look a little bit cooler. Like it looks like an actual kitchen. And of course some chests for adding food storage. Over here, when you walk in and you go to the left, there's a little living area. And you can just sit and, you know, I put jukeboxes, you can enjoy some music. Just kind of... Look outside, enjoy it, and just be happy that you finally built this house. So now over here, there is two sets of stairs leading up to the upstairs. But before I go upstairs, I want to show you the underneath the stairs, which I put as a little storage area, because I figured it's, I don't want to just have like a wasted space and close it off. Let's add a storage area. So here's some storage areas. You can put, you know, chests and, or you can put anything one. You can put like crafting tables and more furnaces. It doesn't really matter what you put in here. Over here I put an anvil in this one and two chests because I figured it will look nice and I put the glowstone on the floor to give it more light. I didn't want to use torches in this build because I figured let's do something different and torches are just kind of they don't seem like they would be a high-end manner-ish type uh, part of a big house. So let's go upstairs. Now upstairs is the bed of course with two chests on the side of it and a little glass pane type um, railing so you can see out and you can look out over your house and enjoy all the hard work you put into it and a big open window to just look out and see your minecraft world and for the roof I decided to use stone bricks because I thought it would look a little bit cooler just keeping it flat stone or cobblestone it's a little bit more even and the textures really work well so overall this house took me roughly an hour and a half to build mainly because I was mostly in planning stages and I kinda when I was building it I kinda got inspired while building it like I was building it and then I got a new idea and added it in and I had some other ideas that I took out because I didn't think they would work well and they weren't really efficient and very unrealistic to make in a survival setting so this is the back of the house I decided not to go all the way to the end with the stone wall because I figured there's really no point because it was on the side of a next to a hill so I didn't have to worry about that and that's pretty much the manor, guys. 
I put the glowstone on the ceiling so it adds light inside the house and also outside the house. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Please leave a like or comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, follow me on Twitter so you can check for updates. And thank you guys for watching again. I'm Matt Krogan HD. I'll see you later.